So today we're going to look at how to get connected to a server on your Bedrock edition of the game, on your console. Many of the consoles now, including the Nintendo Switch, the Xbox, the PlayStation, all these devices are now missing the feature to add a server to their game. And I'm going to show you how you can do it nice and easily in this video. Unfortunately, you do need to jump through a loophole, but it is possible. It works every time. It's just a shame that it's got to the point of the players having to jump through loopholes to join servers. In my opinion, it may be because because they want people to buy realms or play the featured servers and make microtransactions but we don't want to do that we want to play on our own servers and enter our own ips now if you are looking to set up a server that's cross-platform or create your own bedrock server go down below and click the link to apex they offer the best servers for bedrock edition of the game i'd recommend going and checking them out it's so so easy to get your server up and running so as you can see we are in the game here we're currently on a nintendo switch so you're going to need minecraft on your switch you're also going to need to have your microsoft account link and your nintendo account link now if you don't know how to do that on the left where it says otis 7051 it will say there to connect your microsoft account just go across to that and click it then to connect your nintendo account all you need to do is go into play then go across to friends and then what you want to do is click find cross-platform friends when you click that button it's going to automatically sync your nintendo account so make sure you've done both of those before you proceed so the next step is a little bit strange but i'm on a nintendo switch here but do the same whether you're on an xbox or playstation or whatever it might be you need to go into your network settings so i'm going to come down here and go all the way across to my settings page which is going to bring up all of our system settings so like i said i'm on a switch but it doesn't really matter what you're on just find your network settings they will all be the same no matter what device you're on so we can see that we are on our internet here so what i'm going to do is go across and then go to internet settings it's going to go ahead and search just let it do its thing that's pretty normal i'm on a wired connection but you may be on a wireless one so just select the wireless one whichever one it has a tick next to just select it so i'm going to go inside of here and then go to change setting and this is going to bring up a few different settings that we want so you can see here ip address settings we can leave that on automatic what you want to look for is dns settings now this will be the same on playstation and on xbox or wherever you're playing minecraft so just go to your dns settings they will be on automatic to begin with you want to change them to manual again it will be the same on xbox and playstation now for our primary dns server it's really important that you enter this correctly we're going to remove everything that's currently in the box so what you need to enter is 104.238.130.1 dot 180 and that's the address that you need to enter to successfully proceed to the next step with this guide so we finished entering our ip address here we're going to then click the plus on a nintendo switch again it would be different for you you're then going to need to enter a secondary dns now this can be anything you like i'm going to use google's dns for this you guys can use the same but make sure you do this on the secondary dns and not the primary dns so google's dns servers i'd recommend just following along is 8.8.8.8 simple as that guys and there we go we've got the google dns server entered so we're going to just hit ok now the nintendo switch is going to put a load of zeros in front of it i don't know why it does that it shouldn't but it's fine it doesn't matter so that's what you should have in your primary dns you should have that ip address and secondary dns should be it can be whatever you like but i recommend google's which is 8.8.8.8 .8 okay and then we're going to go ahead and save which is going to save our settings and head back to our home screen so on my switch i currently have minecraft open same goes for playstation and xbox or whatever you're playing on just make sure you close the game before you proceed any further so we're going to completely close out of the game and then we're going to launch it back up select our user and head into the game so once you're in the game you'll see there on the left the sign in with a microsoft account make sure you do that if you haven't done it already if you have it just takes a moment to come up so once you've done that you're then going to click play and you're going to come across to the featured servers which are already going to be on your device now from the switch it may be a little different from you you will see that the message under the server list now so under each server it says join to open server list that's exactly what we're looking for if you don't see it that's okay i would recommend trying to connect to the hive that one is the one i've had the best luck with that being said today i can actually see that message underneath the hive so i'm going to pick one of the ones that does have it if you guys can't see where it says join to open server list just try it on the hive and if that doesn't work try it on another so i'm going to go ahead and join i did try this initially and i didn't get the message pop up which i'll show you in a second so if it doesn't work go ahead and try another
another server as it will work it's a guaranteed work guys this works across all devices so just try a different server i understand you're probably thinking why are we connecting to this server this makes no sense don't worry it will all make sense in just a moment just like that it's now come up with a server list which is exactly what we want from here you can go in and go connect to a server manage server list or exit server list when you go into connect the server this is going to allow you to input a new ip address i recommend always adding the server to the server list as well when you're done i'm going to go back as i already have a server on my server list this one here and i'm going to go ahead and connect to it so this is actually a cross-platform minecraft server this is working on java bedrock all of the editions of bedrock and it's set up and working through apex so i'd recommend checking them out and getting your minecraft server from them today so i'll just show you that it's working i'm going to load in here connecting to the server it will take a moment to join your world but once you are in it should work flawlessly okay guys and just like that we are now in our minecraft world so like i said this is actually an apex server plugin called grazer which is allows you to actually play cross platform so this is actually a java server and that's how you join servers on your bedrock edition of the game